We're giving away this truck to one of you lucky people, and we didn't really know what to do. So, wanted to make as many people happy as we could. We asked you, hey, what do you want out of a 73 Power Strip? A lot of people said the same thing. 500 horsepower, daily drivable, towable. So we're like, all right, we could probably just do that with a Hydra. Didn't work. We got like 80 horsepower from a Hydra, not gonna cut it. Like, okay, what can we do next? I think we put on a stage one, didn't cut it. Then called up our guys at Full Force. They sent us a set of 238-80 injectors. We put on our new Gen 3 Stage 2 KC300X. We were like this close, man. We made 495. Still not gonna cut it. So now it's time for some fuel system upgrades. Call our buddies at AirDog. They're gonna send us something. And we've got a bunch of other supporting mods to do, along with some vintage forum mods that all you guys have known about for, you know, longer than I've been alive. So. Let's hop into it. We'll show you guys how it's done. Hutch and Harpoon mod. The classic, illustrious, you know, everyone's said it on every forum page about every Super Duty ever kind of thing. Just something you gotta do. Essentially, in-tank fuel mods for your diesel pickup. So we're modifying the in-tank portion of the filler neck, and then we're also modifying the pickup foot on your, uh, your fuel pickup. It's gonna let us fill up, put more diesel in the tank a bit easier, a bit faster. And then you're also improving that fuel pickup to, you know, attempt to get rid of that quarter tank problem that every Super Duty has. So check out BillPounds.com. Shout out to Bill and Carol. That's where we got all the how-tos. They found all the stuff, put it all on one little website for us. It's been, a, it's been around forever. So go check them out. They'll give you a really good detailed how-to or you can watch us fumble our way through it. So let's get to it. Where are you, Mr. Sock? Well, there's part of it. Oh, there's some oh, there, Yeah, there's the main parts of it. Ending Tony elbow deep in someone's hole is just how I imagine he spends most of his days, actually. Smile! Foster Evan. I don't know what to do with my hands. Well, that's, that's not how it's supposed to look. Snap! Yeah, they're just pre -fixers. I said wrong hole. I didn't say stop. A fuel pump, fuel pump sandwich, please. Another box. He would love this. Yeah, I think so. The thing we like most about the Air Dog is its complete kit comes with everything you need. It's got great instructions, and it's just really easy to install. Take some time. Got to drop the tank. Got to move some things around. Wire some stuff in. It's absolutely a worthwhile installation for your pickup truck. That way, I got it. There's a scoop. There's a little scoop to do. Because it's adding a half an inch, I guess we could tr trim a half an inch. It would be close, I think the frame's gonna be like right here. The AirDog 5G not only supplies better and more consistent fuel pressure for your fuel system, but it also offers superior filtration compared to any factory option you could put on your truck. If it's too tight, just spit on it. It gives you this consistent fuel pressure by using an integrated diaphragm fuel pressure regulator. This regulator is adjustable. You can see it's doing it right here. And this demand flow design recirculates fuel back through the filter base instead of sending it all the way up to the engine and all the way back. All right, so that air dog actually met at us pretty good, it looks like. Wasn't too bad to install and looks pretty good, better filtration, there's tons of benefits. It also gained us 10 horsepower, so finally we hit the 500 horsepower mark. Not just at peak, but at redline, as that fuel pressure is falling off from a stock fuel system, I think we gained like 75 horsepower all the way out. So it's just carrying that fuel pressure a lot farther. Just letting your parts be more usable through more parts of the RPM bin. While you're in the valley, you might as well replace some things, make it pretty. We decided, hey, we're gonna throw on a bill of plenums because, you know, they're sick, and an H-pop cover. 
Both of those are coming from Riff Raff and they look pretty freaking cool. This driven diesel regulated return system features a high quality custom machine fuel bowl delete block, high quality fuel lab bypass fuel pressure regulator, and offers you better pressure control for your fuel system. So here we're removing the factory stamped steel plenums. These things love to crush, they love to leak, especially if you're pulling turbos in and off like we do here at Casey Turbos all the time. And when you use factory plenums, you're always gonna have to re-silicone every time you take them off. We're probably gonna get lit up on the internet for using a whiz They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The benefits of the riffraff billet plenums that we put on is they feature an O-ring groove pre-cut so we don't have to use that nasty silicone, gives you a better, thicker sealing flange, and these plenums are less likely to crush since they're machined out of billet aluminum. The driven diesel regulated return system we installed is gonna offer us way better protection when it comes to the life of our fuel injectors. All right, so regulated return, we just threw that in there because you're in the valley. That, what it's gonna do is it puts that regulator after your fuel injection, you know, system. So after the fuel goes through the injectors, all your leftover stuff, it gets regulated and that's gonna keep it the proper PSI inside of that uh, fuel system in your engine and your fuel rails and all that stuff. And then it's gonna send the extra back to the tank. By putting it there, we can regulate the amount of fuel that's inside your injectors. It's just cranking a bunch of pressure into the front of them. We don't always know if too much is being returned back to the tank. Again, helps with the life of your injectors just by keeping the right amount of fuel in them at all times. So that's what an air dog can do for your 7.3 power stroke, pretty much for any diesel. We might have just gained 10 horsepower peak to peak, but the most important thing when looking at this dyno graph is look at all the horsepower we gained on the top end. I think it was like 40 or 70 horsepower we gained towards redline. That's that consistent fuel pressure all the way up to the max redline of this truck. You know, we're not going to be revving it to 4,000 RPMs all the time, but when you do rev it out there, it's nice to have the extra power when you need it, when you're pulling a heavy load, pulling a trailer. After that, we put on, let's see, those fancy plenums, put on that H-Bob cover, and we did that regulated return. Didn't see a whole lot of power gain or power difference with that, but that's one of those like supporting peace of mind mods that you kind of should just do if you got, just like us, big injectors, big fuel system, big turbo. You're putting a lot of money into your truck, so uh, what's wrong with a little extra peace of mind? Doesn't hurt me. If you want to win this truck, head on over to our website, buy something, put in that discount code, and maybe you can be behind the wheel of this freaking sweet 7.3, dude. Probably wondering where that dynograph is for the regulated return we were talking about since, you know, well, it didn't make that much of a difference. You know, you don't have to take our word for it. We'll go over it next time. So we mixed that in with some other mods we did. Mufflers, intakes, exhaust, downpipes, exhaust pipe diameter, all kinds of stuff. And I have a special guest. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna cover all that and more in the next episode of this 7.3 giveaway.